this afternoon, this morning, depending on which part of the world you are watching me from. So today is prayer number 20. So we'll do one per week as opposed to doing daily as we did before. So that we maximize uh, our flow with this. Alright, so today we are doing the prayer for deeper liberation of God's fatherhood nature through Christ Jesus. Prayer for deeper liberation of God's fatherhood nature through Christ. Daily prayers with Prophet John C.M. And the scripture is Matthew 11 verse 26. The Bible reads, all things, I have, all things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. The prayer is this. And I want you to pray with me as usual. Because some of you do not know the fatherhood of the, the Father. As such, you feel depressed sometimes. As such, you think God never answers prayers. <coughs> Excuse me. As such, you think God doesn't love you. Some of you want to commit suicide. I see someone watching online. You've, you've, you've contemplated suicide twice the last three months. You thought you could commit suicide. Please don't give up. Don't give up and listen to me and look in my eyes. I know you, you are a woman. You are short and a bit chubby. I think you're from East Africa. And one is from the Europe, uh, Western countries. I don't know if it's Canada or Europe, I don't know. I want to pray with you and I want you to pray with me on this prayer so that you feel the anointing in the prayer and then you experience the fatherhood of God. Matthew eleven twenty six says, All things have been committed to Jesus by his Father. So the moment we all got born again, all things concerning life were committed to us. But we have to grow in that knowing. And no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and to those in whom he chooses to reveal him. So for Jesus to come and dwell in you fully after salvation, or to grow in you, he chooses to reveal the Father in you. The overall essence of Jesus in your spirit is him growing the Father in you. And growing the Father in you is growing love, growing grace in you, growing power in you, and growing his holiness. If Jesus does not reveal the love of God in you through the Holy Spirit, it's impractical to almost impossible that you will feel and experience the love of the Father. The prayer is this. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the blood of Jesus Christ. Sincerely and heartily, I pray. Lord, accept you reveal the Father, Jehovah, to me. I may live in the shadows of who he is and never experience the real fullness of his person, love, and true holiness. My Lord, love is the very nature of our God, and I wish to comprehend, experience, and fully live in the depth, the height, the width, and the length of that love. Having read in the Bible, my God, your love overcomes all, endures all, believes all, and hopes in all, suffers long, and never fails, among other things. This is the love I'm praying that my heart experiences 
in this lifetime. Shed abroad by the Holy Ghost and sustained by your commands in my heart and in the word of God. As I walk in this your nature, may I extend this love to those around me and others at any presented opportunity. May loving others become normal to my soul as time goes by and as I mature in the nature, O oh Lord. May mankind that I will interact with see you in my love for them and desire to love you in return. This I pray. Amen. Until tomorrow.